What's good? You heard it here first. Boss Money Base. I'm back at this, man. Um, Today, I just want to address something because it was just on my mind and it's lingering and I feel like it, it needs to be addressed. Well, today we want to talk about how females always like to address issues with males but never like to be addressed by males, meaning they can give criticism, they can give advice on how males should live, how males should, you know, treat a woman or how males should work, treat their kids. But whenever you give them advice on how to do these things, on how to deal with a man, or how to deal with things on a day-to-day -day basis, it's a problem. And I feel we need to speak on that. So, right now, the world that we live in right now is just, is, is really crazy. And it's spiraling, 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 just out of whack right now. Um, females today, and you know, let me just start by saying this. This is no disrespect to the females who don't understand this. And it's no disrespect to the females that do understand this. But right now, we live in a world where females are very sensitive. And they're sensitive because they want special rights. Now, I said this before in previous videos, a lot of people say that they want equal rights, but the reality is that they want special rights. Females love to tell males what they should do. You're not a real man if you don't take care of your woman. You're not a real man if you don't pay on a first date. You're not a real man if you don't feed your woman. You don't buy food for your woman. You're not a real man if you let your woman pay half the bills. You're not a real man, you know, if you don't do X, Y, and Z. But what makes you a real woman? That's the question. What makes you a real woman? The fact that you can open your legs, spread your legs, and you can get and receive gifts and presents and gifts and presents and gifts and presents. Is this what makes you a woman? So because you have the power of the P, everyone is supposed to bow down. You make the rules. Just because you have that, us men, are supposed to pay all the bills. Us men are supposed to take you to eat all the time. Us men are supposed to pay on every single day. Us men, and I'm not talking about guys that don't do their part. I'm talking about good men. I'm a good man. Men that take care of their family. Men that take care of their kids. So you're telling me that we are supposed to foot all the bills and are supposed to be mats so you can step on that's what you're saying and this is what's happening right now they're making men doormats floor mats and they're stepping and walking all over them and they're allowing it men are allowing it you're allowing it you're kissing ass you're biting your tongue stuff that you would have said before you're not trying to say anymore Listen, it's cool to be in an equal relationship, but it's not cool to be a doormat. And this is what you ladies are doing right now today. You're making men doormats. You're taking full advantage of men. Full advantage. And a lot of men are allowing it. I call them TDs, tender dicks. These dudes are the same dudes that's allowing it allowing you to do these things because a real man would address and let you know when you're wrong and let you know that you are wrong and you're not going to walk over me. You, 
You're not going to walk over me. You are not going to walk over me. It's not going to happen. I'm going to treat you like a lady. I'm going to respect you like a lady. But you are going to treat me like a man at all times. And I'm not saying that you're going to bow down to me. No. I'm saying that you're going to treat me with respect at all times. And this is what ladies are losing for men right now. Respect. Females today, you think you're the man. You think you are a man. Suck my dick. Word. Nope. Like, lady, please. Really. Please. These things are becoming an issue. These things have already became an issue. They're out of whack now. And like I said before, they're spiraling out of control. I really believe we're at a point of no return because the men nowadays, un we're just letting this, we're just letting it happen. We're letting it happen. Women are more disrespectful. Social media has became a monster. A monster. I.e., you got ladies shaking their ass on camera. Now, check this out. Mind you, whatever you do is your prerogative. But when you start telling me that the things that I'm doing is wrong because of the things that you're doing, I'm speaking on, then that's a problem. If I can't speak on you, then how should you be able to speak on me? Does that make sense? Ladies, we really have to get it together. We really have to get it together. What you're doing is you're pushing men away. You're pushing men away. I don't need a man. <laughs> I don't need a man for nothing. I'm not saying a man's supposed to be your crutch. A man is not supposed to be your crutch. You are your own crutch in this world. You are responsible for you in this world. But when you are in a relationship with somebody, it's 50-50 love, man. You were supposed to show that person that respect. As soon as you and as soon as you take that respect out the relationship, and that's when the problems start. And this is exactly why, ladies, you have the problems that you have. Know it or not, the problems you have comes from your lack of respect. And your lack of respect comes from your girlfriend. Yeah, the lonely one. Comes from a female who's never been in a relationship, a long-term relationship, and that's telling you how to deal with men, and she can't keep a man. This is where the lack of respect comes from. What you need to do is, you need to check yourself. Fix yourself before you plan on fixing me as a man. Fix yourself. I say that to say this. Everybody has problems. Everybody has vices. Your vices may be different from mine. Ladies, clean up your act. Get yourself together. Clean up your act and get yourself together. Because what you're doing is what you're really doing is you're pushing the men out of your life that could be a valuable part of your life. Listen, if you're new to the channel, don't be afraid if you're seeing this video. Like the video. Comment on the video. And once again, if you're new, subscribe. Because there's more where this came from. You heard it here first.